What's going on guys, Shane Place here, and welcome back to another episode of our LSPDFR. Here in today's episode, we're going to be patrolling with the Highway Patrol, as that is the voting that went on with my poll in our YouTube, in my YouTube community tab. You guys voted to do a, to see a Highway Patrol video. So, we're going to be out here with the Highway Patrol, because that is the one that ended up winning. Uh, I hope you guys have been enjoying the LSPFR videos so far. Uh, if you guys want to see some 5M videos, I'm working on getting uh, my 5M application done for a server I'm in to uh, actually record videos in their server. Uh, so if you guys want to see that, let me know by leaving a comment and putting a like on this video. Anyway, let's let dispatch know that we're going to be 10-41-10-8, so we can start with our, uh, patrol. Show me 10-8. 10-4. Alright, we're going to pull off right up here and activate our radar to see if we can't catch any speeders. Anyone that goes 70 or more will pull over. All right, there we go, 71. Got this guy up here going 71, a, uh, a Souther, World Steel. It's that guy right over there that's getting into, oh, that was, it looked like he was gonna get into our lane. It's gonna be this guy here, going 71 and he's 60. And he is still kinda going pretty fit quick. Let's stop this guy. Come on, man. There's so much more over that you can pull over, but you decide to do that. Alright, that will work right there. Show me on a 10-11, occupied times one. Show me on a 1011, occupied times one. 104 is backup required. Negative. 104, proceed with caution. Okay. Can I get a 1027, I mean, sorry, 1028 when ready for that traffic stop? Acknowledged. 8, Adam, 15. Okay. going to be 0 2 King Paul Nora 889 license plate 0 2 King Paul Nora 889 a traffic violation proceed with caution all right Scott expired insurance let's go have a chat with him him or her okay it's him Hey sir, how's it going? Trooper Shane with the San Andreas Highway Patrol. I'm stopping you today because of your speed. Can I go ahead and get your driver's license, proof of insurance, registration? ID. Nice and slow. Right, thank you. Alright, Dexter Drax. I'll be right back with you. Let's go run his info. Alright, he's got a driver's license that's valid, he's got no warrants, he's been stopped two times, he got one citation for littering, no arrest, okay, vehicle, yeah, expired insurance, alright, let's, uh, go ask him if he knows about his, uh, insurance is, uh, expired. Hey Dexter, so I uh, just have a quick question for you. Do you know that uh, your insurance is 
expired. I had no clue. I'm truly sorry. Well, it's our. I guess it's okay. However, I am probably gonna write you a citation for driving a vehicle without with expired insurance. So that is actually. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> so that's what I'm actually going to be doing. I'm gonna be giving you a citation for that. So go ahead and sit tight real quick for me. And you're also gonna be getting a citation for speeding. Uh, you're going 10 to 15 miles over the speed limit. It is a posted 60 and I call Octi doing 71 in the 60. Uh, vehicle documentation, expired registration. I mean insurance. All right, submit. Submit charges. Okay, man. So, uh, I'm gonna be giving you some citations today. Okay. Go down here. It's uh this one. Nope, it's any question. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to be issuing you a multiple station for these offenses, alright? Please just let me off, please. Sorry, man. I have to give you these citations. So, if you will just sign right here on this dotted line. It's not a mission of guilt. It just sees that you've got this, these citations. Fuck you ain't signing shit. Well, you can either sign or I can take you to jail. So uh it's it's your it's your choice. Oh, you you wanna sign? Okay. Yep, right there. Thank you very much. Alright. Here is your here is your copies. Uh your correct date will be on the tenth. So be there. Or else I will probably be returning to you again. You have a wonderful day. Jackass. Um, we're getting calls I'm gonna be 10 8 from that traffic stop. Alright, guys, we're gonna pull off right here again. Just up the road from our last traffic stop to do some more radar. Almost had a pull over right there. <laughs> oh, 73, Akuma. Uh, Let's go get him. He's on that bike. Whoa. I hope you're okay, man. Sorry, I gotta go get this guy. Shouldn't stop for that though. What's up, buddy? I got you going 73. Shit. Just pull up there, man. That's all you gotta do. Eight Adam fifteen. Show me on a ten eleven. Occupied times one. Eight Adam fifteen. Show me on a stop. Occupied times one. Show me on a ten eleven. Occupied times one. Okay. I don't know why I have a saw. You didn't see that. All right, let's go talk with this guy. What's up, man? Uh, stopped you today because um, I clocked you doing 73 in a posted 60. Uh, are you uh, going anywhere in a hurry? Just going to Polito? Okay. Uh, well, can I get your license and registration proof of insurance on this bike? ID. Nice and slow. Yeah, thanks. All right, Andre. All right, Mr. DeClasso. The class, so I'll be right back with you. Shh. 
should have got a plate number, but it's fine. Uh, valid. He's been stopped four times. Gotten three citations. He's been arrested for armed robbery. Has a gun permit. With it's and it's for handguns. He's not on probation or parole. Okay. License is valid. Insurance is valid. Not stolen. Okay. Um. I'm gonna give him a citation for speeding. I don't have anything, anything else to give him. Uh, speeding. Uh, no, it's true, period. Alright. Let's go tell him that he's getting a citation. Alright man, I'm going to be getting you a citation today, it's going to be for going 15 to t 10 to 15 miles over the speed limit as I clocked you doing 13 over the speed limit. If you will go ahead and sign on this dotted line, it's not a mission to guilt, it just says that you got the co they, uh, that you got the ticket and that you are going to be on the court day on your uh, 15th. Go ahead and sign right here. Alright, thank you, here's your copy, and you'll be safe to go as soon as I get back to my vehicle, try to stay safe, no more speeding, alright? I'm going to be 10-8 from my traffic stop. Roger. We're going to come up here and grab fuel real quick. You know, we don't really need it. I'm just going to come up here and grab it. Alright. Always want a full tank of gas when we're out here patrolling. for this one. We're gonna go code three uh, to get there. We're responding to a arrest warrant that uh, officers already have them, but we're gonna respond to it because they uh, asked for some backup. So we're gonna respond to them for backup. Alright, so I guess they got the suspect right up here. Officers do. Sorry, man. I'm assuming it's in this area. You're under arrest, you piece of get that article I sent you? Loser. Get on the ground right now. On the ground. Down on the ground. You will be tased if you don't get on the ground. Taser, taser, taser. Get on the ground. So on a police officer is what we were gonna have. Don't you move. Thought they said you, there's already officers here, but I guess not. Shut up, man. 10-15, suspect in custody. No additional... Show me 10-6. 10-4. Alright, ma'am. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what is going on here, no but... Kidding. Uh, I'm gonna. What's her right? What's her name? Does she have her ID on her? All right, ma'am. I don't know what's uh been going on. Uh, but I got a call in that uh maybe there was like a warrant out for your arrest. Uh, so that is exactly why I'm here. So. Since you are a female, would you like a female officer present? Because I'm going to have to search you. Nope. 
Okay, so you don't want a female officer here. So, um, will you consent to a search of your, of your ped? Because uh, I'm going to have to search you now. Yep. Alright, are uh, you sure you don't want a female to do it? Alright, so she wants a female to do the... Alright, so let's get a female officer here. Requesting female backup. Have the female come over here and perform a pat down on her. I definitely need to change those vehicles out. As long as it's a female, which it is. Hello, deputy. So she wants a female officer to pat her down. So could you please pat her down for me? Got nothing on that's gonna poke her stick or hurt her, do you? Okay. A glass vial containing an unknown liquid, a bag containing several unknown pills, and a bag containing unknown crystals. Her name is Jennifer Gills. All right, Jennifer Grills. Parole, she's on you. Okay. It doesn't say she has an arrest warrant, so I don't really know what that's about. But let's go take these pills over and see what's what's to do with that. Narcotics field. A glass visual containing. I hear that. Let's see if it's got any regiment. Okay, it's was negative for LSD or about uh, fentanyl positive for fentanyl uh, PCP all right negative so the glass bell containing an unknown liquid is uh, fentanyl the bag containing several unknown pills Nope, it's not ecstasy. It's not LSD. It's not fentanyl. Okay, the pills are PCP. All right, and a bag contain unknown crystals. It's not. It's not cocaine. It's not methamphetamines. So it's gotta be PCP. Yep, PCP. So, uh, possession of PCP and fentanyl. And hitting a peace officer. So, I'm gonna get these charges written on her real quick and then we'll have this deputy take her in so we're gonna create an arrest report it's going to be for violent crimes for assault on an officer yep because she hit me wait that would battery on assault I would be battery on an officer wouldn't it I believe so. Uh, I'm going to say assault on a law enforcement officer because she hit me. And now she's going to get possession of uh, uh, possession of fentanyl and PCP. Possession of fentanyl and possession of PCP and she's also going to get resisting arrest which that is one of these ones here it's gonna be a non-violent crime 
And now we'll just get it for those. So we're gonna submit those charges. Assistant PCP, position of fentanyl, and assault on a law enforcement officer. Let's go let her know that that's what she's being arrested with. Question pad. After arrest. Alright, ma'am. So I am charging with the following charges. It's gonna be uh, assault and or battery on a police officer. It's going to be possession of uh, uh, possession of just pretty much drugs, I guess. Uh, I guess there's not anything on there. But drugs, yeah, I'm charging with drug paraphernalia because there's not like possession of PCP, I guess. Possession of illegal drugs or narcotics, I will cooperate. All right. Well, uh, that is what you're being charged with. So at this time, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in the court of law. You have a right to attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided to you by the state of San Andreas. Do you understand these rights as I explain them to you? Yeah. Sure. Whatever. Alright, uh, this lovely deputy right here is going to take you to jail. Backup required and huh. right seat. Motherfucker! Thanks for coming over, deputy. Even though I thought they said they had the situation under control, but alright, whatever. Where are you going, the deputy? H hello, deputy. Are you okay? Wide load coming through. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't really see a vehicle here at all. So. Yeah, dispatch. I just uh, found a guy in the middle of the street, totally unconscious. As soon as they get out of the way, I'm gonna. Look at all these, uh, all these uh, citations. See what they get. Appreciate it. Yep, no problem. I'm going to go to court cases. All right, so the first one that we did was uh, Dexter Drax. He got speeding between 10 to 15 miles over and expired insurance. He was fined $174 for speeding and not guilty, no charges on the expired insurance. Okay, well, he had expired insurance, but he must have went in got insurance after I wrote that ticket, so. Uh, Andre DeClaus got speeding between 10 to 15 miles up over the uh, speed limit and was fined $166. And Jennifer Gills, who was arrested for assault on a law enforcement officer, possession of fentanyl, and possession of PCP. Uh, for assault on a law enforcement officer, she was fined $4,000 and seven years in prison. Uh, for possession of fentanyl, she was fined $4,000 with nine years in prison. And for the possession of PCP, she was fined $300 and one month in prison. All right, well. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, episode. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys. Hey, John.